Welcome to Mower Mike's Garage. I am doing a video today that I am very, very excited about. I've been thinking about this video, I've been dreaming about this video for weeks. And what we're doing today, we're gonna test spark. I'm gonna show different ways to test that your mower is making a good, fat, blue spark. Now, forever and ever, since my early small days, I've always been testing spark the same way, which is, like on my other videos I've shown you, you take the spark plug boot, take your spark plug out, hold it against a piece of metal, crank it, and look for the spark, and just hope to God you don't get blown up, and a lot of times you can get shocked, and it's just, it's a good way to test, but it is just hairy. So, I had some shocking news the other day. I was on the old YouTube, <laughs> shocking, and I was blown away. I saw some guy on there, a big old redneck, using a spark tester. Now, I didn't even know these things existed, but he had this little contraption cranking, and it was an isolated little thing, and it was showing spark. Didn't have to mess with a spark plug, didn't have to mess with open flames. It was awesome. So, being who I am, I immediately went on the Amazon and tried to find every spark plug tester I could order here and get here next day. And there's surprisingly a lot of next day available spark plug testers. I ordered all of them. These things are only like 15 bucks a piece. I got this one, looks like a spark plug. I don't even know how that works. This one here, big red one, I don't know, it's got a little, little, looks like the flux capacitor. You got this thing here, I have no idea how that works. And this little wire thingy here. So, uh, what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna test all these guys, and you're gonna learn with me how these work, if they work, and if they work worth a damn on this mower. Because we know this mower here is making a good fat spark. Because if you've seen my other videos, we did a coil swap and we just cleaned up the coil and she has been tested to four ohms and she is ripping sparks. So stick with me and uh, let's figure out how to use these things. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the contestants of the spark plug gap tool competition, which is what this is. So if we look at the left, these two look like a similar design where one side hooks into the spark plug boot, the other side hooks on the spark plug. And then you have a contained little glass area here. It looks like this one's definitely the cheaper one where you can see the spark. So we'll try these guys first. Now this one here is very interesting. It looks like this one, you just replace the spark plug with this guy and then you look at the spark. So that'll be an interesting test. I'm not quite sure how that's gonna go, but we're gonna, definitely gonna see. And then this one here, Looks like it's the most complex, obviously made in China, they are very proud, but it tests the spark plug gap somehow or another. So let's go ahead and strap them up. We'll do this one, this one, this one, and that one. So, all right, let's have some fun. All right, so our first contestant is the 15-116 spark tester, all the way from Taiwan. Now these guys are serious, you can tell, because they don't even put a name on it. <laughs> I mean, they just print and go. Now this one is the, uh, it's got the hourglass thing here. And the way it's worked up, it's got a little red boot. And on the red boot, you slide that over the spark plug. You slide this into the spark plug wire itself. And then we crank it. And apparently there's supposed to be a lamp or something goes, something happens inside of there. So let's see here. We'll just slide this in here. Hopefully it's all the right size. All right, we got a good connection there. And as you can see here, I'm hoping this just slides over the old spark plug. Yes, sir. All right, we got a view of the, all right, so watch that while I crank it. Um, I'm not quite sure, I've never done this before, so just hang with me, we'll see if this works. <laughs> wow, I did not expect this thing to start, but apparently, it still shoots the spark into the spark plug. So you can do this just cranking or just sparking. Now, I say this one's a success, I, well, but it's my first one. You know, there might be better. There might be a better looking woman coming around next, but uh, I'd say this is a good one. Now this is the most expensive. This is $21. Uh, so, you know, consider that, it's still cheap. All right, and that is the 15-116 spark tester, and uh, she's a success. Just look for the lamp, and as long as you got a good spark in there, it's good. All right, so next up is a Leasley spark tester, inline spark tester. Now, this one I got for $11 off Amazon, delivered next day. I don't know if they were on sale, but it was amazing. I can get a tool that freaking cheap. They probably sell these at O'Reilly's for 30s. 
30, 40 bucks. Now this is the uh, tester you'll most likely find at the auto parts store. It is the most common. Now the way it's set up is that you have a spark plug boot, this guy here, and one end, the 90 degree end, slides on top of your spark plug, over the top. Then the other side slides in here like so. And then your spark plug wire goes over this one here. Now, just from my initial feel, this one does feel much, much higher quality than that last one. Uh, just, just much thicker rubber and much thicker glass right here. And this one does come with much better instructions where it actually tells you what to look for. So it says, if the engine doesn't start and tester doesn't flash, ignition system. That means you're not getting anything out of this coil and that's most likely your problem before you even go to your spark plug. Next one says, engine doesn't start, but tester is flashing. That means you're getting a spark through the tester down through here, but you're not getting it to start. That would mean your spark plug is fouled. So that would be a try a new spark plug. Now engine starts, tester flashes erratically. That means your plugs are fouled or your ignition system is weak. So one side or the other. So that's a good way to look at it. Meaning if you have power coming out of this ignition, you will get a light, but if it doesn't start, it will not, uh, that means your plugs are failed. So that way you can test both sides. And it is nice that Leasley from China gave us some directions. Now, I hope you're excited because we've got an ultimate close up right here and I'm gonna turn the lights off and we're gonna see some fire, ladies. <laughs> so I'm getting a little nervous because we do have the shop door closed and this thing is probably gonna start. So if I don't come back for the next shot, you'll know what happens. Do not operate engines with doors shut. Oh. She's not starting. That one worked pretty dang good. As you see, it lit up. It didn't have that spark flash like the other one, but I would say this is a higher quality item, if anything, just for the instructions it gives you versus Taiwan 111116. <laughs> just came off the boat. So, all right, so we've got a couple more to show you, so stay with me. I am getting more and more excited right now, and I'm gonna open the door here. All right, this next one cracks me up. Didn't even come with a box, just came in a plastic Ziploc bag all the way from China. Now, it looks like a spark plug, right? But you look underneath it and it's open. So that means the spark is gonna go grounded to this circle here. So you'll be able to see it just like a regular spark plug. And with this clip here, it's gonna ground it to somewhere. So <laughs> what you do is you, you just slide your spark plug wire over here. Now with this one, it's not gonna start because the spark ends right there. And then just clip it somewhere on the block. And uh, we'll see how this sucker works. Now, this one is definitely much, much more dangerous uh, just because you have an open flame. So if you do this, make sure to keep the, wow, look at those white legs. Keep any gas fumes away uh, from your spark. Wow, look at that. That's going to be a great shot. So again, I'm going to turn the lights off so nobody freak out, and then we're going to see what happens here. I'm kind of excited, but honestly, I'm a little scared because I am tired of getting shocked by these coals. So, look at that. My legs glow in the dark. Hot damn. Wow, that actually... <laughs> that one worked way, way better than I thought. That was cool because you could see the quality of the spark instead of just the, the light lighting on. So, I say this one is actually pretty cool. It is definitely going to be one of the top contenders. So hang on, we're not done yet. I got this fancy contraption. I'm gonna have to read the directions on the next ones, but stay with me. All right, so our next one is definitely a weird one. This one is the Hashi Hayoshi Spark Plug Gap Tester. Now, the way it's set up is you plug your spark plug into there, and then you plug this one on the end of the spark plug. So it's definitely a little hairy. And then you set the spark plug gap between here with this little screw. So it goes up and down and that way you can see the gap. 
Now, on the instructions, it says to set the gap at 10 millimeters on the tester, but it doesn't say if SE3, it has no description of what these dang numbers are on the side here, and no way to measure it either. All it says on the bottom, it says danger to life. There can be extremely high and dangerous to life voltages of more than 3,000 volts. <laughs> extremely high and dangerous to life. So hopefully this does not kill me. Uh, so we're going to be careful. It might be some sort of Chinese, I don't know, man. I don't know if they make the, the engines different over there in China. But we're going to keep our distance and I'm just going to forget it. Hey, let's just do it. You know, a little danger on the YouTube is okay. But we're going to go ahead and uh, crank her up. Now, I don't know. I don't know what in the world is going to happen. I'm going to shove it in there. Try to get a uh, good view here. Oh, there we go. There we go. And we're going to turn it, turn it, turn it. Look at that. Dang, I am so, so good at this. So <laughs> we're going to turn the lights off. All right. So don't get too close to your TV now because I don't want anybody getting shocked by whatever this Chinese contraption is. not expect that now I you're not supposed to twist that while you're doing it but just for the uh, YouTube sensation I went ahead and did it but it looks like it'll actually measure the quality and the strength of your spark you can see here we're way past the gap recommendations on that spark plug and she was still going at it so you can tell this coil was kicking some butt and still throwing down sparks even though we almost had a full inch gap down here so that was way fun and way cool and way dangerous because you stick anything in there uh you're getting the, the piss shocked out of you <laughs> so let's pull these over here to our table and we'll go through analysis of, of what i think I, you know these vary quite a bit in their function and how they work but uh, a lot of fun all right so the showdown of the spark plug testers what did i think well you know they each have their own qualities to them now if you're just looking for something fun to have in the shop and maybe have your little kids stick a finger in there and show them what a real shock is like i go the the haishu straight from uh japan i mean just for a science project and show how this the spark <laughs> spark actually goes through there that was uh, that was really cool but i would not get one of those for function in a shop now this one was neat this one was cool you could see the spark right there you know, for 11 or 12 bucks, it worked. But, you know, for a general shop tool, I just can't suggest something that's going to have an open flame near where you know there are going to be some gas lines and some hairiness going on. I mean, if you're going to buy this, you might as well just grab the current spark plug and push it against the side of the motor so you can test the spark, <laughs> spark plug along with the coil. So, that one's gone. That one's gone. And we're down to these two guys. Now, both of these are quality items. This one feels a little better, but this one, I don't know. There's just something about this one in Taiwan, the simplicity of it, and I like the light a little better, and it was just real small. It'll, it'll fit where you need it, and it was $20, but I'm going to take this one. I'm going to do it. I'm going to say it's worth the extra $10 to get the 15-116 spark tester for the size. Now, this one does work good. I mean, shoot, if you want to save 10 bucks and get that, there's nothing against it. But something about that light just gave me a better feel about the spark. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope nobody got hurt. This one was a lot, a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to keep one of these in my shop. Well, I'm probably going to have all four for when the kids come over. Uh, but, yeah, really, really cool tools out there. So, now you know there is no need to just hold your spark plug against something against that motor and crank it. Because they're really, really cheap, fun tools. So with that, uh, please leave some comments, some jokes, uh, make fun of me, whatever, whatever feels good to you at that moment. I am open to it. Uh, so please subscribe and uh, let's have some more fun. More Mike out.